Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's Kevin Cater with 882 rating versus CMP Pop or CM Papa with 833 rating. So it's gonna be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. So CMP is gonna win the rock paper scissors shoot, and 40 versus 41, he chooses to go first. Opening hand is Phantasme, Debug, Gazelle, Desires, Cosmic. Then he opened our. Hold on, I'm gonna go over this hand real quick. He has no hand traps. Uh, so Phantasme could draw a hand trap. I know some people consider this a hand trap. I don't see how. It doesn't like stop your opponent like a trap card does on uh, most scenarios. And then he has Phantasme, Desires, Debug, Ash, Exceed. So they have honestly like not too far off hands. It's kind of weird how like the hands have like three of the same cards game one. Uh, normal summon debug, debug effect, add gazelle, link away into Bailing, Bailing succeed, and he's gonna drop Phantasme. That's chain link three. Draws exceed and sign at mining. Um. Oh man, I didn't even see what he shuffled back there. Uh, he shuffled back Gazelle. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, he has multiple ways to get to it, so. Exceed, bring itself out. And then make Bailinx. Go for Wolf. Uh, Gazelle summon itself. So he just does not care about game one nib. Gazelle send Jack. Because, like, a nib right here would just be game. Link in the wolf. Jack, target wolf. And then he's going to wolf effect, add gazelle back to hand. And then he can go for a rank four, desires. He draws crow plus falco. So he draws crow. That's really good in the mirror match. He banishes a rage, a spinny, a foxy, banishes an exceed, which I know like uh, a lot of people don't even know the play. Um, it just says if it's special summoned by the effect of that, that its effect becomes level four and it's halved. But it's other effect that lets you summon parallel from deck just says if it's normal or special summoned. So if you splash, bring it out, then you can use its effect to summon. I'm fairly certain, right? I'm not just wrong right here. Um, I think that's the play. I don't know. I don't play this card in my salad, but I'm pretty sure I saw someone do that. I, I don't even know. Honestly, I could be very wrong right there, so don't listen to me, but read Splash before you try doing that play. But I remember someone bringing this out a different way and then using its effect, and I was like, whoa. It doesn't have to be summoned by its own effect. So, like, those cool little interactions can help you out. Draw Circle, activate it. He's going to Ash it. Chain Dweller. On resolution, he's going to drop Gazelle because Jack hits Graves, so Debug's still in hand. And then Gazelle, Wolf. Wolf, add back Ash from Grave. And then Gazelle send Will. And then, like, his Falco will be able to set Will next turn. Normal summon Debug. Effect. Add Spinny. Get rid of debug, bring out Bay Lynx, Bay Lynx succeed, add Sanctuary, and then parallel summon another one from deck. And it has to summon to that zone. Overlay into Dweller, sign up mining, get rid of Spinny. Add Gazelle, and then Gazelle summon itself, and then Gazelle effect on field, to send Roar. Desires, banish 10. 
draws order plus will so i wonder what oh wait he's already used ash's turn what is he saving crow for his opponent's grave is turned off this turn he didn't drop phantasma on banelings um crow i don't know when he's gonna crow if he ends up going for like a wolf play to add back and he crows like roar then he adds circle um, he banished a rage, a roar, a spinny, nothing too bad. It's probably his only other spinny since he's already gone through one. Link two in the wolf. Activate sanctuary. Oh, he's going to drop Phantasmia on wolf summon. Draw sign up mining jack. then get rid of wolf for wolf wolf add roar i don't think his opponent shuffled his deck yeah he just put sanctuary to the bottom and didn't shuffle wow little little cheater uh activate will i don't know if he did it on purpose or not obviously i don't know what he's thinking bring out spinny bring out gazelle ah oh, he could make uh oh my god i haven't thought of this name in forever oh mirage stalio Oh, that card was nuts. Imagine. Make Lingaribo. And then make Splash. He could have also just gone for Update right there. Oh, wait, no. Because Update wouldn't be able to use its effect. Never mind. Uh, goes for Splash. Yeah, yeah. See, this makes its effects negated. So I was definitely wrong about that i don't remember how the guy brought back parallel but he did it and i was like whoa there's like no way he just did that uh might have been reborn or something bad i don't remember uh wolf add back roar splash bring out spinny so now he's locked in the cybers for the rest of the turn uh link in the trans code um he can't even use this effect because he's summoned like dweller and stuff and this will um uh, this isn't for the rest of the turn. This says you cannot special on monsters a turn you activate this effect except for Cyber's monsters, so you can't even use it. Oh, he's using it. Oh no, now he's gonna crow whatever he targets. Crow the wolf. Oh, that. That's a little like cheat right there. But honestly, you know what? I, I I'm a uh, I'm gonna let this one slide because his opponent put the sanctuary to the pot to the bottom of the deck and never shuffled so. Transcode, attack Phantasma. And then he's admitting defeat. I guess he doesn't think he can play around Dweller plus Roar. Could he though? I mean, it's definitely worth like not scooping there, right? Because like there's a still like a small chance that you somehow win this. I don't know. The Salad Mirror is very weird. He's going to admit defeat interesting uh weird uh so now we're gonna see cmp go first this game once again opening hand is foxy gazelle ash sign up mining spinny one hand trap uh plus he has multiple engine cards then he has sign up mining roar parallel imprim spinny so that's a good hand um if you like sign up mining get rid of spinny you might just cost himself the game though sign up mining get rid of roar all right that's what i like to see these like discarding roar rage will to add it back with wolf is so free ash that normal summon spinny link in the bane links and then parallel both effects obviously add sanctuary summon itself and then affect the summon and then he's gonna overlay in the dweller Spinny summon itself, and then he's gonna use Spinny and Bay Links to make Wolf activate Sanctuary, relink the Wolf, Wolf effect, add back Roar, set Roar Imperm pass turns. So now he has Roar Imperm Dweller. Draws Foxy, not good. Sign up mining, get rid of Foxy. He's gonna Roar that. He's gonna. Dweller on resolution, summon Foxy effect, 
misses with that. It seems like everyone just misses with Foxy since there's not a whole bunch of salad cards in the deck anymore. Especially like when he's opened multiple of them. Link into Baylinx. Baylinx Gazelle. Add Sanctuary. And then Gazelle. He's going to Imperm Gazelle. Um, that opens him up to... Yeah, that's bad. That is not good. You definitely don't do that there. Because now you can Splash, Transcode, Access Code, Pop the whole board. Or Pop Sanctuary Wolf, Beat Over Dweller. Oh, yeah, that's bad. That puts you on top deck mode. I fully disagree with that. He, I mean, he should know that, too, because, like, he's playing Salad. Link those two away. He could have uh, made Lingaribo first, too, with the Gazelle. Make Splash. Splash, bring out Foxy. Make Access Code. Access Code, bring out Splash. Go into Access Code. Gain 3,000. Yeah, that was weird. Splash, or access code, banish splash, pop wolf, Baylink save, banish transcode and Baylinks, pop. Oh, I wouldn't have popped Dweller. I would have popped Sanctuary. Yeah, he said Dweller can stay. Yeah, I agree with that. He said you targeted Dweller, he said then wolf stays. The hunter doesn't really matter. Alright, so he's saying that he targeted Dweller, so Dweller has to go. And then, so he's popping, because he never technically, like, destroyed the last thing that he banished for. So he's popping Sanctuary and then just beating over Wolf. Yeah, like, the 100 isn't going to really matter. Um, he definitely misplayed there. This shouldn't even be on board. And then he's going to pass turn, draws Cosmic, good game. He messed up there very bad. Not, that was not well played by him. Uh, shout out to Kevin Cater for sending in this replay. Also, I think that's how you say your name. Honestly, I have no idea. I've never seen, like, Kevin with a C. Um, I think that's how you say it. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. Well, that's going to be it for the replay. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DV Grinder signing off. Peace.